L'Ukraine et, euh, et la Russie euh, sont deux États voisins qui partagent un certain nombre euh, de points communs, culturels, euh, humains, euh, économiques, mais aussi ils ont des points de divergence, des divergences qui ont ramené à la situation actuelle de la guerre. Bien entendu, le Maroc, dès les premiers jours de, 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 de la déclaration des hostilités, a exprimé de manière très forte euh, son inquiétude vis-à-vis -vis de la situation et sa dangerosité. Elle a aussi exprimé son rattachement euh, aux principes cardinaux qui ont toujours euh, animé sa diplomatie, à savoir le principe de bon voisinage, le principe de l'interdiction de recours à la force et à son usage dans les, les relations internationales, mais aussi le principe de l'intégrité territoriale de tous les États membres des Nations Unies, y compris, bien entendu, l'Ukraine. Et parallèlement, il a, tout, il a aussi euh, euh, mis l'accent sur la, le dialogue et la diplomatie comme étant les moyens pour un peu arriver à une résolution euh, du conflit. Jordan's stand is neutral and focused on international law. Its initial official position was calls for peaceful negotiations rather than war. Later, Jordan joined the majority of the Arab countries to vote for a resolution that condemned the attack and demanded the withdrawal of the Russian forces, yet stuck to neutral language excluding the mention of Russia in its statement. Polls showed that the Jordanian public opinion is indifferent, yet Jordanians blamed the Western media for having double standards in coverage and response compared with other conflicts in our region. The war uh, is a European war, but it's seen in Israel as a confrontation between Russia and the US. The war has put Israel in a very delicate position, on the one hand having to Uh, support Ukraine, the EU and the US, and on the other hand, not to confront Russia. This is due to our need to uh, maintain uh, effective coordination with Russia with regard to operations in Syria to prevent the establishment of Iranian presence there. Consequently, Israel has offered significant humanitarian aid to the Ukraine, but refused to send military uh, aid and did not join the multilateral sanctions regime. Egypt still supports the basic principles governing the world order, especially respect for sovereignty, uh, non-interference in international aff internal affairs, non-use of military force in settling disputes, and the respect for the Charter of the United Nations in general. Uh, these principles are part of the uh, political doctrine of the Egyptian uh, state. Likewise, Egypt supports the respect of Uh, the United Nations international institutions and the, the preservations of these institutions. Uh, this is stable doctrine it explains uh, Egypt's vote on the United Nations General Assembly resolutions related uh, to uh, Ukraine. Egypt certainly uh, supports uh, any peaceful settlements of this conflict due uh, uh, to stop its dangerous repercussions on global security and the global economy as well. Les Européens sont profondément préoccupés et, et c'est une chose, j'allais dire, naturelle, en tout cas pour trois raisons principales. La première raison, elle est géographique. Au-delà du concept de l'Eurasie, l'Europe s'étend, comme le disait De Gaulle, de l'Atlantique à l'Oral. Et donc, une raison géographique, le territoire de hostilités se passe en Europe et les préoccupé. Mais aussi pour une raison économique. Les relations très fortes avec la Russie, ne serait-ce qu'en matière énergétique, posent un certain nombre de défis pour l'Europe. Et des raisons stratégiques, puisque l'Europe euh, entend s'affirmer comme étant un acteur géopolitique de premier plan face euh, à la reconfiguration des relations euh, internationales et des rapports de force internationaux. The war has triggered swift condemnation by several countries, immediate sanctions by the US and other countries targeting Russia. Emergency talks took place at the UN. The speed of such an international response, which includes the exclusion of Russia from some cultural events even, was frowned upon. Why did we not see such a reaction to other conflicts across the world? We're following the European reactions to the war, especially uh, there is much coverage of the new unified European voice and the significant sanctions against Russia. But at the same time, it is also very clear that there is a limit to what the EU can actually do for the Ukraine. 
given the clear determination not to engage Russia militarily. The European Union is very important uh, power in the world, in the global uh, global order, and the world is still needs uh, a stronger European uh, role to promote the transition to a multilateral world order. So the world understands uh, the European security concerns about uh, uh, the Russian military operation against uh, Ukraine and therefore the world uh, very much understands European policies uh, to revive the European security and to reform the European, European relations and the European American relations. But uh, European security should be dealt with a, a more comprehensive uh, framework. Uh, frame, um, and, and I mean here that European uh, security is very linked to uh, the, the security of Russia, Russia in general. So I think after the crisis, uh, European uh, Union need to uh, deal with this, the, the security dilemma uh, in a more comprehensive uh, way. Alors, le Maroc n'est pas tout à fait une région lointaine à, 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 à la mer Noire, puisque la mer Noire déverse sur la Méditerranée. Donc, déjà, une première conséquence, elle est géographique. Alors, à cette conséquence-là se rajoutent trois autres conséquences. La conséquence humaine, le Maroc a une forte communauté des étudiants en Russie et en Ukraine qui font face aujourd'hui à beaucoup de difficultés. Pour les étudiants en Russie, l'acheminement est dans leur virement, de leur montant de scolarité. Mais aussi, pour l'Ukraine, on a vu le rapatriement d'un certain nombre de milliers, en tout cas, d'étudiants marocains. Conséquence aussi économique, puisque ce sont des partenaires économiques de premier plan pour le Maroc, que ce soit l'Ukraine ou bien la Russie. Et sur l'aspect euh, global, on a l'inflation galopante qui a conduit à une augmentation fulgurante des prix d'énergie, des prix des produits alimentaires qui impactent le Marocain au quotidien. Une troisième euh, explication aussi de l'importance de l'impact de du conflit, c'est le caractère un peu géopolitique, puisque ce conflit euh, vient se rajouter aux impacts du coronavirus et met aussi euh, en, en exergue la crispation et l'animosité entre des partenaires de premier plan au niveau international qui vont certainement encore une fois impacter négativement le système multilatéral de coopération et conduire les relations internationales vers plus de tensions et plus de difficultés. Our region is certainly affected and food security threatened. Countries in the region are major buyers of Ukrainian grain such as Egypt, Turkey, Tunisia, Lebanon, Libya as they benefit from the short sea route to avoid shipping costs from the USA or Australia. Also, a significant reduction of oil and gas exports from Russia to Europe would result in sudden dramatic increase in prices globally, hitting all energy importing countries. Jordan's energy security will be vulnerable as we import 92% of our oil and gas deeds. In terms of consequences, two concerns and two opportunities. One, complicating our relations, our strategic position between Russia and the US. Secondly, there is some concern with regard to regional instability due to possible food shortages and food crises now. In terms of opportunities, we see a greater motivation for regional defense cooperation, as we've seen with the Negev summit last week, and new opportunities for uh, economic cooperation in light of the European decision to reduce the reliance on Russian gas. Egypt is a part of the world economy. Uh, the crisis left many effects on the Egyptian economy, of course. Uh, this effect took many forms, uh, the most important of which is the significant rise in prices. Because Egypt depends on foreign markets to meet the domestic, the domestic demand uh, for certain strategic commodities, this uh, created pressure on exchange rate, as, a, as an example. These pressures also forced the government to, to take more uh, steps in liberalizing the exchange rate, which led to a significant change in prices. Also, the crisis caused a rise in the inflation rate. 
But in general, no major uh, problems regarding the availability of uh, strategic uh, goods in the market due to the effective policies applied by the government uh, in this regard. Also, there is an understanding uh, on the part of uh, the citizens uh, and, and we hope that uh, the conflict in this room.